How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Steel Rising DLC, Cali Ostro's Secrets. So, in this episode, I know I said we were going to continue on with the uh, no, Hopital Saint Louis. Um, however, figured, oops, before we actually finish the DLC, it would probably be beneficial to explore the Basti uh, area because there is a trophy for um, exploring the uh, what is it called um, the Templar area there's a the trophy is called Templar and uh, exploring the secret area of the Basti I believe we have picked up the key at this point and there is another key uh, that I for a cell that I didn't get at the beginning of as of now um, that I did not get at the beginning of the the uh, DLC area um, I will put a note in that well by the time this goes up I mean um, I'll have that note in there but maybe you guys haven't seen it um, I will put a note in the in the video uh, what key to open what door and uh, all of that is in that area um, is the actually let's kill this guy over here there's a cell apparently that has the um, ooh, okay has the it's called the ordinary looking key and all that will open is the one of the cells like at the beginning of the DLC and all that's in there is uh, just a note that tells you where this location is uh, so as you can see there we use the cast iron key oh god okay um, sure that is rude you are a rude dude So yeah, there was uh, there were two doors in that area that I did that I did not open uh, during recording. One of which I still haven't opened. But like I said, that just all that has in it is just a note that tells you where this location is. Um, I kind of backtracked uh, a little bit, and there was uh, there was a door that I had opened with. Another key, uh, I think it was called the Stained Key. Um, again, I will put a note with all of this and what to do in uh, in the video. Um, so the Stained Key opens another door that you get a, another piece of uh, the DLC armor set. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so I think that completes the armor set now. Let's see. That's a bustle right over there. Okay. So let's take a look around here. And at this at this point, I have gotten the trophy that I mentioned for the uh, killing 30 of the new enemies um, as I kind of thought that trophy you don't have to kill 30 of each it's just 30 um, of all those all together so um, off recording I killed another uh, another couple and just to test it out and uh, the trophy popped up so So the only trophies we have left at this point for the DLC are uh, this trophy for exploring this area and uh, then there are trophies associated with uh, finishing the actual DLC um, and also the trophy for killing, filling the, killing the boss with... Okay, oh, okay. 
killing the boss with uh, a DLC weapon. Which I did level up the the lightning chain. Does pretty good damage. So I am probably going to use that to try and dispatch the boss. It's probably not going to do near as much. Um, you know, with the special move, it's probably not going to do near as much damage as this weapon does, but it is what it is. Killing everything with this weapon, honestly, is not providing much of a challenge, let's be honest. It is pretty funny, though. I mean, you guys saw in the previous video how I destroyed that automat. The unstable automat. It was absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so... So that was the Vestal. It's gotta be a an upward area. So yeah, uh depending and I was thinking too, um with typically with what we see in the game um, there is a, after the, an unstable automat fight, uh, there is a little bit more traversal in the area, um, until the actual boss, so we probably do have to, yeah, so there's nothing else up here, so go down here. Uh, there's a little bit more traversal until, uh, you face the actual boss, so that is probably the case here as well. I have a feeling this is going to lead me to the infamous item that eluded me for so long. It's like, how do I get this? Yep, there it is. Awesome. <laughs> it's just like basic upgrade mats, too. Come on, guys. Couldn't have made that a little more exciting. I mean, made players like stare at that item for so long. Okay, now we gotta go this way. Okay, got a. Uh, Like we got a necromancer friend over here. Can we? Uh, I have any grenades? Yes, I do. You, come over here. I will take it. Oh, it's a sandbagger. How the hell are you supposed to get that? I mean, let's face it. That's. Do I? I don't think I can even. Oh, there we go. I didn't think I could jump that, huh? I get it. I was gonna say, let's face it. It's probably not worth. Too much time and effort. <laughs> it was just an oil vial. It's t 
typically how it works. There is one thing that other people have mentioned, and I agree. Um, you know, if you're going to, you need to reward players for uh, exploration. Give them more. Give them more um, valuable items when they explore. Instead of oil vials and um, all chemical capsules, I mean, come on. Okay, um, let's see. Let's go this way. Okay, I got still got four heals. Oh. Trying to ambush people. It's a solid effort. I'll give you that. However, it did not work. Alright. Nothing over here other than our sneaky boyfriend. couple items and barrels. Those, uh, those Jaguars with the cannons, like, and I remember in New Game Plus could, uh, pretty easily two-shot you. It's just kind of ridiculous, like, how much the, uh, they jacked up the all-chemical... Whoa. Camera got all weird there. How much they jacked up the all-chemical afflictions in, uh, New Game Plus. Okay, that's where it came up. Um, something over there. How the hell you get over there? Oh, it's probably. I think there was a grapple point on that bridge I saw. What do we got? Extendable batons, okay. I heard people talking about these. Let's see. Special move, invocation of fire. Oh, so it's basically like the Hephaestus batons? Oh, that's cool. Whoa, okay. That's cool. So how's that? I mean, it looks like they got kind of chains on them. That's why they call them extendable. Um, let me just see how it... Oops. Basically the same moveset. That's cool though. 
All right, so I think we have gotten, I think, I think we have gotten all the DLC weapons. We got uh, the Lightning Chain, Rail, uh, Rail Baton and Shear, Extendable Batons, Wheel of Justice. So one, two, three, four, I thought there were five. I don't know if the... I don't know if the discus chain counts as one, because I got that as a... It might. I got that as a pre-order bonus for the Bastille edition, so very well could be. Oh, I should probably switch my weapon back. Okay. So this just goes in a circle here. Okay. See. Why are you do why are you just where did you come from? I didn't even see you when I came down here before. He was just standing over there watching his friends get murdered. Uh, there are... Oh, no, oh, something to get here. So yeah, I think... That is it here. Let's try it, buddy. So through there, um, I believe, as I understand that, if as long, uh, once we go through that gate, we will get the trophy for the Templar. Yeah, this is that item that I saw. Honestly, I thought there would be <laughs> thought there would be more to this area. Um, that's probably death down there. Yeah, I think that is it. So, let's see. Oh, I missed an item over there. Yep. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Got the trophy. Alright. Alright, uh, I am going to use... Actually, I'm not going to waste one of those. I will use a carriage token, uh, get back to the carriage, and then go back to uh, the DLC area. Meet you guys over there. I will transition when I get there. All right. So, oops. Let's get going. Uh, I got chest here. Nothing fancy. Uh, where are we going? Going over that way. Say I heard someone clomping around. All right. Okay. 
else around here. I don't see anything. Looks interesting over here. Take it easy, buddy. Oh god, that failed miserably. Oh my god. Alright, you need to calm down. Peace. Those guys don't mess around. They can t they can do a lot of damage quick. All right. Um. Yeah. Heading down in there. I do not see anything else over here. Okay. Though. Some up. Oh, some breakable stuff. Nothing breakable over here. I think we're good. So we'll try and fit the fit the boss in here. This episode, I'm not sure how much uh, um, how much is left here. It's too past. We can go. It looks like. Another vestal there. Um, let's see. What is the other way? That's gotta be like the Vestal for uh, the boss or something, unless there's more. Oh, hey. Unless there's more. Oops. <laughs> Thought he had more health. sound like get all funky for a minute there. Oh, this looks like one of our gates that we couldn't open before. Yep. Not sure exactly where that goes because there's a lot of A lot of uh, circling around in this area, but uh, certainly that was one of the gates that we couldn't open before. That's a necromancer guy over here. Oh, no 
healing for you. None of that. That's weird, man. Sounds getting all weird again. Okay. So this is where I originally broke through. Yep, that was the wrecking ball guy. Okay. So over to the Vestal it is, I guess. So, in case this is the boss fight, let's get set up here. Um, going to put fluid vials there, and I don't know what this guy's going to... Uh, actually, put those there, and those there. Uh, let's... And I want to put too many quick items on. Um, not sure if this guy's going to do... I would assume this guy's going to do some sort of alchemical damage. Just don't know what. Ah! Stuck. Alright. So, I'm going to pop one of those when we get in the fight. Flame resistance, so I would assume this guy's gonna do flame then. Oh, this Charlie is true. You've come just in time, my diabolical dancer. Not one move, villain. <coughs> oh, so now you presume to command your master. Only my conscience commands me. Wretch. <coughs> oh, voyez-vous cela? It was certainly a mistake to bind you to the anima of an uncontrollable degenerate. A blunder that I intend to rectify imminently. Ella! Not another move, I said! This, uh... <laughs> Awaken to your new glorious being, Brousseau, and heed only the sound of my voice. This, uh, dialogue is a little lacking here. What the fuck? Get rid of this nuisance once and for all! Whoa. It's kinda cool looking. Whoa! Ah, what are you- what the fuck? Start doing fire, dude. I can't see a fucking thing. This thing is cool. Oh my god. Holy shit. 
shit, dude. Thing, but you're gonna die. You sit Citoyen Terogne, please help me. Do not fear. She's right here. Would one of you be so kind as to tell me what on earth is going on? Don't be afraid, Pierre. We'll explain everything as soon as we're on our way. Yes, you're right. Let's hurry to the Cordelier. Abbe Gregoire promised we would be safe there. I can attest to that, Citroën. The walls are impenetrable, and you will be in excellent company. Will you come with us, Aegis? Yes, let's go. We've spent too long in this gruesome place. So, um, two trof uh, trophies popped up there. The new toys for defeating the boss with a... DLC weapon and the trophy for beating the boss. Um, should be one more trophy. Finally. Oh dear, Brissot. Yeah, you're safe and sound. Mes amis, I was nearly lost. The Comte de Cagliostro was intending to add me to his tally. I owe my life to these two guardian angels. No, Pierre. It's ages we should be lording and ages alone. Please, stop. It's an unnecessary waste of all too precious time. But I insist. Were it not for her, I would be lying in a potter's field at the Hôpital Saint-Louis. And as for you, my friend, you would still be imprisoned in that dreadful box. Oh, I see. How did you both fall into the Count's clutches? My impetuous anger caused this unfortunate adventure. When I heard they'd been rounding up black people in Paris, my blood boiled. I rushed to the Châtelet to demand an explanation from Monsieur Thierry de Crogne. The Lieutenant General de Police? You went to see him without taking anyone with you? No, of course not. I asked Mademoiselle Terroin to act as my bodyguard. I was to stay at a distance and help him if needed. But it was all in vain. I was waiting to be received when all of a sudden I was seized and thrown into an armored carriage. A carriage that I discreetly followed to the Hôpital Saint-Louis where Pierre was imprisoned. I immediately returned to Saint-André-des-Arts in search of help, but it was to no avail. I left a message on my door and went to the hospital, where my attempt to free Pierre quickly met with disaster. If Aegis hadn't answered my call, we would have been done for. Bless you, ma chère. This time you haven't just freed an innocent man. You have also saved our cause. Thanks to you, there is still hope, and the fight continues. Okay, there's a trophy for Caliostro's secrets. All right, um, <laughs> so that uh, that ends the DLC. Uh, but I don't know, man. Like, you know, if you let's see. Your audacity inspires respect, Citoyen Torania. There isn't a man in this assembly who measures up to you. But please be more careful. Something terrible could happen if you rush headlong into the fray. I care not about my fate, Aegis. I wouldn't hesitate a second to sacrifice my life to save the nation. I've heard you're eager to take up arms against the tyrant. It's true. 
I've been itching to fight for such a long time. You had to be completely naive for the King's treachery to take you by surprise. My dream is to found a female cavalry squadron dedicated to defending our nation. The Phalanx of the Amazons of Liberty. I went to Versailles as soon as the Estates General opened to get support from the people's representatives. You must have had to endure a lot of... resistance. Oh, you can't even imagine. Only a few enlightened minds were willing to listen to me. The first among them was my dear friend Brissot. But it turns out that the third estate representatives are no more enlightened than the aristocrats. The inferior status they grant to women is an unjustifiable iniquity. The equality that they preach will remain nothing but a hollow wish, as long as les Francais are not free to carry a sword and smite their enemies. Some people fault you for not acting like a woman. It seems they'd rather see you performing domestic tasks in service of a husband. A citoyenne owes her life to her country, not to some man who sees her as nothing more than an obedient servant. It is time for us women to break our chains, to do away with the ignorance, arrogance, and injustice that keep us in thrall. I, for one, want the honor of dying for freedom, and to show these backward, prejudiced bores that we are not inferior to them, whether in virtue or in bravery. You certainly gave a brilliant demonstration of your argument earlier. Okay. Au plaisir, citoyen. Uh, so where's... Yeah, that's Brissot, I think. Yep. Citoyen Brissot. Cher Aegis, I am forever in your debt. This time your cause nearly cost you your life. I knew the enemies of our Societe would do anything to hold on to their privileges, but this... I admit that I could never have imagined this. But I would have gladly sacrificed myself for our dream. There is no worse poison than prejudice based on one's color. It is the harbinger of death and despair. No honest man can tolerate such an injustice. You are one of those who are curious about Madame Thewani's plans, aren't you? Oh, of course. Women are no less capable of fighting than we are. The only thing that matters is one's love for one's country and the yearning for sacrifice. There are many who mock Anne-Joseph today, but they won't be laughing so loudly when they see her leading the charge of her Amazons. Okay. All right, sorry, yes, that's it. I mean, it's, it's a little odd because... When we finish the game, we see um, Cheliostro escape, which makes sense because, you know, there's the DLC. However, um, the fact, the circumstances that surround the ending of the game, uh, for anybody who hasn't seen that, I won't exactly say what happens, but um, it's just it, time, like, it, it, the fact that your save file gets uh, changed to a, a different time frame um it doesn't make any sense like it, there's no closure like Caliostro never um never gets caught like <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense to me i don't know if there's gonna be another dlc or or what but um but yeah um so kind of in my opinion kind of anti-climactic but uh but yeah um that is uh that is it for the Steel Rising DLC. Um, I don't know where I heard five hours from, but um, but yeah. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I think we are pretty much officially done with Steel Rising, unless uh, some new content comes out. So, um, but if it does, uh, we will certainly cover it. So hopefully, hopefully you were all doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.